Good morning, Indians. My name is Justin. And I'm Ava. Let's get started with the pledge. Good morning, Indians. I'm Lise. And I'm Kayla. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may now be seated. All boys interested in playing soccer, there is a mandatory meeting Tuesday, October 8th after school in the weight room. Seniors, the deadline to purchase senior dedications is rapidly approaching. Get your page in the yearbook for a lifetime of memories. Dedications start as low as $65 for one eighth of a page and go up to $220 for a full page. You can also purchase one quarter of a page for $90 or half of a page for only $120.00. Get your dedication into ASB today and reserve your page in this year's yearbook by Friday, October. 18th. On October 9th, ASB will be hosting MC auditions during lunch for the homecoming rally. If you want to be the MC for the homecoming rally, tryouts will be Wednesday, October 9th during lunch in the Black Box Theater. PSHS Counseling will be having CSU Applications Assistance Tuesday, October 8th with our local CSUSB Admissions Counselor in the library period 2nd through 5th. Sign up with Ms. Canales in the Counseling Office. PSHS Career Center will be having Cash for College Thursday, October 17th at 5.30 p.m. in room 604. All students who attend will be entered to win in will be entered to win a Cash for College scholarship. Please help keep our campus looking clean. Do your part. Pick up your trash. We have an amazing campus. Keep it looking clean. Remember our motto, Palm Springs. Don't, Don't pass, pass it, it up, up pick, pick it, it up. up. Homecoming tickets are going on sale this week for the special low rate of $35 with IP and $40 without or $70 for couples. Prices will go up next week, so buy your tickets to the biggest dance of the year early. Last year we had nearly 700 students and this year we really want to have 1,000 students at homecoming. Be a part of history, be a part of homecoming, and get your tickets today. Also, while we're talking about this homecoming thing, homecoming court n nominations will take place this Wednesday and run through next Wednesday. Make sure you log on to www.palmspringshighschool.org and cast your vote for homecoming court. Remember, students, you cannot campaign to get put on court. Any student who uses social media or other means to campaign will be disqualified from being a part of homecoming court. Log on and vote, Indians. Do you have any recommendations for INN? Do you want to say the pledge to start the show? Follow us on Instagram at PSHSINN and send us a message. That's at PSHSINN. And finally, Indians, enjoy your three-day weekend. Please don't come to school. <laughs> On Monday. Up next is your spooky fact of the day, Physics Friday, and the pun of the day. Hey Indians, me here coming at you with another spooky fact of the day. Today's comes from Disneyland. So back in the 1960s, Disneyland contacted the UCLA Anatomy Center and they got some actual skeletons and skulls to put into the Pirates of the Caribbean, Caribbean, whatever you want to call it, ride, which is kind of weird because you're like floating around in a boat and there's just like actual skeletons surrounding you. So then once people found that out, they were like, oh yikes, so then they gave them proper burials. So, yeah. And then also at Disneyland, people have like, you know, poured ashes of their loved family members <laughs> into um, Haunted Mansion, you know, It's a Small World, places like that, which is also super creepy. So yeah, that's it for today. See you later, Indians. Hope you have a spooktacular day. This is Questions with Lana. I see the people we're gonna ask. Hey, what's your name? Asia. Her name's Asia. Asia. What has four fingers and a thumb and it isn't alive? Four fingers and a thumb and it isn't alive. Four fingers and a thumb and it isn't alive. Why would it not be alive? What is it? Just guess. I don't know. It's a glove. Let's go. <laughs> so today's question is what has four fingers and a thumb but is not living? Can you give me one guess? What has four fingers and a thumb and is not living? You. Oh my god, you're almost right. <laughs> um, it doesn't help. A glove! Wait, would you like to 
like to call it help? Yep! So it's not a key, it's not a key, it's not a skeleton, and it's not alive. What is it? What am I? Four fingers and a thumb, and I'm not alive. Give it to me, come on, ladies. Bro. Okay, they don't know, sorry. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. A glove? No, no. Yeah, there is. That's it, that's it. Oh my god, I got it right, it's a glove! I have four fingers and no and a thumb, it is not alive. Can I say it? A glove. A glove. This is questions with Lana. School spirit ah. up for the mill. Show your Indian pride this and every Friday by wearing red or dressing up in your favorite Palm Springs year. We're off to a great start this year and want to keep the school spirit at an all-time high. So remember Indians, we wear red on Fridays. And don't forget that this and every Friday is also a high five Friday. Spread the love and high five everyone today. Good morning, Indians, and welcome to the edition of Physics Friday. My student Vanessa and I have something cool here we want to show you. So, Vanessa, what what color are these beads? 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 They're white. They're white. Okay. Now we're gonna go outside and we're gonna see what happens to the beads. Let's go. Sunglasses on. No, I was just out of my Sunglasses on. So let's bring him out here. Let's see what happens. So, Vanessa, what color are the beads now? They're different colors, like they're, rainbow. There are different colors, like rainbow. Wow, that's awesome. What's going on out here that wasn't going on inside? Uh, there's sunlight. There's sunlight. So what's coming from the sunlight? UV rays. UV rays. So what are, what are the UV rays doing to the beads, you think? Um, I don't know. You don't know? OK. Um, what makes UV rays different than the rays that were coming from the lights inside the classroom? Mm, they have energy. They have energy? Do the, does, do, the, do the lights in the classroom have energy? No. No? Yes? Well, what do you think has more energy? The light from the sun or the light from... The sun. The sun? Okay. What can happen if you're in the sun for too long? You can get a sunburn. You can get a sunburn. Can you get a sunburn from being under the fluorescent lights in your classroom for too long? No. No? Okay. Any other ideas you have? No. no. All right, Indians. Well, if you like what you see here, talk to your guidance counselor about taking physics next year. Have a great weekend, Indians. How cool is that? Hey, Indians. Why don't all couples go to the gym? Because not all relationships work out. <laughs> <laughs> That's it for today, Indians. Have an amazing three-day weekend. And a great Friday.